Soft body insects need to be preserved prior to being placed in a collection because these uh, insects will decompose over time. So what we want to do is put them in a position where they're preserved and will last uh, to be viewed in the future. Uh, the first thing to recognize with soft body insects is that you want to place them in isopropyl alcohol or, ethyl, or ethyl alcohol. Uh, this is an example of a vial that we use in our laboratory for preserving insects. It's got a polyethylene seal in it. And what that means is that it prevents it from leaking. One thing to recognize is that when you put water in, or alcohol in this case, into a vial, that there is an air, air bubble in there. And that is not good because when you place your insects in there, that air bubble, every time this vial is moved, will damage the insects. So what's important is that when you put alcohol into the vial is that you fill it to the top of the vial. The soft body insects, when you preserve them, what you want to do is you want to first put them into uh, near boiling water. What we have in front of us is a, a beaker on a hot plate with water that's been boiling. And what we have here are house fly larvae. And what we'll do is we'll take these larvae and we'll put them into the boiling alcohol water for approximately five to 10 seconds. You reach in, your larva has now been preserved, very much like fixing a egg in boiling water, if you've ever boiled an egg. And then you place it into the alcohol and that maggot is preserved. When you skip the step of placing the maggot in the boiling water, the maggot, when put into the alcohol, is not completely preserved. And those tissues on the inside of the maggot will decompose, the maggot will turn uh, black and begin to decompose and emit a foul odor. So it's important when working with larvae or any other soft body insect is that you place it in near boiling water for five to 10 seconds prior to placing it into alcohol. Another important point to note when preserving insects in alcohol, uh, particularly the soft body insects, is that it's important to place a label on the inside of the vial. This label, very much like a label that will be on an insect pen, will have all of the transient information regarding that insect and where it was collected, by who, and when, and what it is. Now, with alcohol, it's important to note what you're writing with. If you were to write with a ballpoint pen or other ink pen on paper and place it in the alcohol, the alcohol would destroy the writing. So there are two alternatives that you can use. You want to use a pencil to write your label or an India ink pen. Most likely, it's easier to come across a pencil to write your label. Uh, by writing in pencil, it will prevent the label from eroding away over time. Also, with your label, you don't want your label so big that it blocks the whole vial. You want to have it small enough that it can fit into the vial easily while still enabling the person to view the insects on the inside. The alcohol that you use in your vials is very important. There are a number of different types that are available. If you go to a retail store, you're most likely going to come across rubbing alcohol, which is isopropyl. In laboratory situations or in laboratories or school uh, labs, there's ethanol, which is a common preservative. And then there's even methyl alcohol, which is wood alcohol. Whatever you use to preserve your insects, isopropyl or uh, ethanol, make sure that you use between 70 and 80 percent. That's a high enough concentration to preserve the insects without causing damage to the insect itself. If you lose, use a lower concentration, there's likelihood that the insect will not be preserved. And if you use a higher concentration, it could cause external damage to the insect. And it's not efficient with the alcohol that you have at hand. Another point to keep in mind when using uh, alcohol to preserve soft-bodied insects is that when you preserve them, it's important that you come back on an annual basis, if not sooner, check to make sure the vials are still full and not leaking, and also to replenish the alcohol. In some cases, it's not a bad idea to remove the, the preservative solution and refill with fresh material. 